This is the second version of the Bluetooth dot matrix that I've made with Arduino. It is a lot smaller, but longer, because this one is made with 9 matrices of 8x8 LEDs. It is portable because it has a rechargeable battery inside, and it also has a new function that we will see later. It could be recharged because it has a BMS and a charging circuit inside. It could display text sent from the smartphone Android app that I've created. Just type the text to be displayed and press send. The text will now scroll on the dot matrix. You could also change the speed by varying the delay time on the Android app as well. In the same way you could change the brightness, from a value of 1 to 15. Then we have these three more buttons. The middle one of course will stop the scrolling text, and keep the matrix powered off. But now look what this other button will do. So as you can see it will scroll the day of the week, the date, the time and the temperature. And that's because inside we have a real-time clock module, that will give us that information. In the same way, the third button will only scroll the time, the hour and the minute, in case that you want to use this as a clock, and you don't want to see the full date, the day of the week and so on. The module has some 18 650 batteries inside with a charging BMS, so we could use this anywhere. You could use this setup for your own business and show text to your clients, or do any other thing that you want with it. You can see this type of displays in bus stations, football stadiums, food stores and so on. So let's see how to build it. But before we start, as I always say, make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell in order to see my future projects. A huge thank you to all my patrons. So let's get started. Hey friends, the sponsor of this video is GLC PCB. I always had good results with their PCB manufacturer service, and you can see that on all the PCBs on this channel. But now they also have an SMT assembly service with a pick and place machine. So if you're planning to create a full PCB design, solder the components and sell your boards for example, take a look at this service, starting from $7. Check all the frequent questions to learn more and ask for a quote on glcpcb.com. What's up my friends, welcome back. The last dot matrix project I've made had some problems. The LEDs that I've used were too big, and the current from the drivers was too low, and also painting the case with white was a bad idea. But now, instead of building my own matrix with LEDs, I will use these small modules that already have the driver and the dot matrix. All we need to do is to connect the wires from one module to the next. As in my past tutorial the matrix will work with the MAX7219 driver. This IC could control an 8x8 matrix of LEDs, and give the data at the input to the output for the next driver. See my past video below in order to learn how this driver works and controls the columns and the rows very fast. In this case this chip is the SMD version, and we have a board with the IC, and another one with the LED matrix that as you can see, it has all the LEDs cast inside a plastic cover. So let's see what more we need to build this project. We need some plywood for the case. I'm using a 3.5mm thick plywood. Also I will use a glue paper with a carbon fiber design to give this case a better look. Then we will need two 18 650 batteries. To charge the batteries we will need a 2S BMS protection board like this one. Since the input for the charging process will be a 12V DC transformer, we will also need a buck converter to lower the voltage to 8.4V, which is the voltage for these two batteries in series. We will also need another smaller buck converter, with a current output of around 2A, to lower the voltage another time, to 5V for the Arduino and the dot matrix. I know that the Arduino has a 5V voltage regulator, but this one is not efficient, and will draw the battery faster and also it might not be able to deliver enough current for all the modules and the LEDs. Next we will need a real-time clock module or RTC, like this one with the DS3231 chip. This one will give us the date, the day of the week and the time using i 2 communication. We also need the HC06 Bluetooth module, to make the connection between the matrix and the smartphone. Of course we will need the Arduino, which could be a Nano or the Uno and also some wires to make the connections, 
a jack for the input charging plug and an on and off switch. And yes, remember that we need these dot matrices as well, in this case 9 modules. See the schematic below for all the components and the values. You also have the code and the app that you need to complete this project, so check electronus.com links below. Ok, so first we have to measure the size of the matrices. Each of these square will have a size of 32mm. I will use 9 matrices in series. I've tried this setup with more than that, but for some reason, the library that I'm using can control more than 9 matrices. I make the measurements and draw the lines on the plywood. Then I will use a cutter and cut the parts. Remember to pass some sanding paper and smooth all the edges. So we need a front part that will have the matrix. Another part for the back of the case, two small parts for the sides and two more for the top and bottom parts. See the dimensions that I've used below. Before I mount everything inside of the case, I make a test on the breadboard. I connect the Bluetooth module and the real-time clock and connect the matrices in series. I upload the code and connect power and it works. I get the default scrolling text. I also test sending data from the smartphone and it also works. At the same time, the DC plug will be connected to the first pack converter that must be set at exactly 84 volts. So rotate the potentiometer and connect the multimeter at the output and the DC transformer at the input. So change the potentiometer value till you get 84 volts and then glue the potentiometer so it won't change the value. Now solder the small BMS to the batteries like this. Now connect the 8.4 volts from the back converter to the BMS input output pads through a small switch that will enable or disable charging. From the battery pack we first have the power switch and then the second back converter. In this case rotate the potentiometer once again till you get 5 volts and then once again glue the potentiometer so it will stay at that voltage. These 5 volts will be connected to the Arduino 5 volts pin and that's it, everything works so it's time to make the case. I first cut the front part, where I will place the dot matrix modules. Then I fit the modules in place and glue them with some hot glue. Make sure the modules are in the right direction. Now make the connections from one module to the other in series using some thin wires. So now we could glue the sides of the case all around. We have the main case, we can solder the wires to the Arduino. Before you connect the Bluetooth module you should upload the code, because if the module is connected to the TX and RX pins of the Arduino, the code won't upload. So connect the USB cable, download the final code from below, read the comments in order to understand more and then upload it. You will also need the Max Matrix library, so download that as well from below and install it to your IDE. The first time you upload the code, you have to uncomment these three lines and add the time. Add the day of the week, the month and the year and the time. Now upload the code and then comment back these lines and upload the code once again, because that will set the real time to the RTC module. Now connect the Bluetooth module, the real time clock and 5 volts from the on and off switch. Now all the connections are made, it's time to put this entire mess of wires inside of the case. I glue the circuit of the battery on the black plywood of the case and then I try to organize all the wires. On one corner I make two holes and I place the charging plug and the switch here and glue them in place with some hot glue. I also glue the Arduino on the back plywood and the RTC and the Bluetooth module inside of the case. I've made the hole on the top part of the case and I place the on and off switch here and that's it. All the components are in place, so I can now close the case and try make it to look a little bit better. Before you close it you should make another test and see if everything works. Once the case is ready you could leave it like this, or you could add this carbon fiber design on top. So let's see how that will look. I first glue the front part and cut the part for the matrix. I also pass a little bit of heat gun, so the paper will stick better to the plywood. I then fill the entire case with a carbon fiber design, and finally the project is done. So push the button and the default text will now scroll on the display. Now to use it, go and download the app that I've created from below. You have to copy the APK file to your smartphone. Then open the file manager of your phone and install the app. You must enable the unknown apps to be installed on your device. Once the app is installed you can open the Bluetooth settings and search for devices. The HC06 device should appear on your smartphone. 
Pair to this module using the password 0000 or 1234. Once we are paired, open the app. Now click the Bluetooth icon and here you have to select the HC06 module. And now we can send the data to the metrics. If I press the first button with the calendar, it will screw the day of the week, the date, the time and the temperature. Now you could use the delay slider and change the speed. Now use the brightness slider and change the power of the LEDs. Now press the time button and that will change the matrix into a clock and the real time will be scrolling on the display. Now press off and that will power down the display. This is not total power off, just the display. The Arduino and the rest of the components are still active. For total power off use the main switch. Ok so now I type any text. I press the send button and now that text will appear on the display. So I think this is pretty cool. So that's how I've built this dot matrix of 9 modules, with Bluetooth connection and a real time clock. The clock module has its own battery, so it will keep the time for at least 1 year. To charge the matrix just plug the 12V DC transformer on the back and turn on the charging switch. I hope that you like this project and if so give a like to this video. Also take a look at my webpages electronews.com and electronews.io for a step by step tutorials with more photos and details. Consider subscribing and activate the notification bell in order to see future videos when I post them. A huge thank you to my patrons for the support. So thanks again and see you later guys.